Well, hello, everyone, and thank you for joining us tonight for our on the Conference Carolinas Digital Network. 
It is early September in the Carolinas, and for the first time in two years, these two programs on display will have a full schedule of, of games this fall. Tonight's contest is taking here, looking live at Pepsi Stadium in Tigerville, South Carolina, uh, for tonight's contest between the Bearcats of Lander University and the home team, the North Greenville Lady Crusaders. As I mentioned, these two programs have not had a fall season since 2019 due to the COVID-19 pandemic, but their 2020 regular season games took place last spring. The Bearcats finished 3-6-1 and one overall, and they placed ninth in the Peach Belt Conference standings for women's soccer. On the flip side, the Lady Crusaders finished last year with an outstanding record of 8-2-1, and one, going all the way to the Conference Carolinas Tournament Final, where they fell to the two-time defending champions of the conference, Mount Olive 1-0. Their hard work last time around led to the Crusaders being picked for third place in the Conference Carolina's coaches' preseason poll. As with every team, both squads have several returners, but there's also plenty of new faces for the Bearcats and Crusaders that we will see on display tonight. And speaking of players, let me go with you, through with you guys when the starting 11s for both teams, starting out with the Bearcats. Starting off in goal, number zero, and that's Sarah Owen. Number two, Mia Piazza at defender. At forward, number seven, Gracie Beeson. At uh, forward, number eight, Emma Sexton. In the midfield, number 12, as Mackenzie Yandel. At defender, number 13, Ashley Ural. Number 15, forward, Romy Lelwin. Number 18 in the midfield, Marin White. Number 22 in the midfield, Haley Bolig. Number 27 at defender, Micah Spickerman. And lastly, number 28, Kelsey Fisher. She's also in the midfield. And the head coach for the Lander Bearcats this season is head coach Chris Ayer, and he's assisted by Noel McDaniel and Jamie Morris. And now for, on the flip side for the starting 11 for the North Greenville Crusaders. We're getting her first start for the first team this season. Number 88, Lizzie Luzzi, the junior. In the back line, there are several good defenders returning from last season, also some new faces. Sarah Hazelwood is returning to the back line, as well as number 14, Ainsley Robinson, as well as other defenders, including Romy Contreras and Abigail Schultz. Into the midfield, there's Natalie Johnson, number 25, the senior. Abby Mayer at, uh, in the midfield as well, and Cameron Pagliaro in there as well, and up top, Megan Beal, Shebley Shepard, and Faith Needler. Well, we are underway here in Tigerville. And in possession of the ball right now is Lander. This half, they will be attacking from left to right in their blue kits. And the Crusaders in their white kits will be attacking from right to left. Getting her first touch of the game is Ainsley Robinson, the youngest daughter of Andy, coach, head coach Andy Robinson. Plays a good ball through, looking for Megan Beal, who's making a good run. And that's a good clearance away by the goalkeeper, Sarah Owen. First throw into the game for North Greenville. Given away, and now Lander will try to keep possession and get a counterattack going. Good speed on that far left side. That looks like Gracie Beeson. And good defending there by the defender from North Greenville. And it'll be a throw in for Lander on that far side. That was good defending by their turning center back number 23, Sarah Hazelwood. Here's a shot on goal. And... That'll go wide of the goal into the side netting for a goal kick for the junior goalkeeper, Lizzie Luzzi, to take. Lizzie Luzzi getting her first start of her career with this team as she's played behind for the past two years who have graduated on now, Annie Miller and Maggie Shop, who graduated this past spring. So here's Luzzi's first goal kick. Ball forward looking for Natalie Johnson. Can't quite find her. And now Lander on the counter attack. Has a space to shoot, but good defending there. In the nick of time was Ansley Robinson with the vital touch that leads to a Lander corner, the first of the game for the Lander Bearcats. 
This corner is going to be taken by number 20. This is number 22 over there for the Lander Bearcats. And that's Haley Bolig taking the corner. In the box, cleared away. Now it's in possession of Lander once again, and they'll try to swing the ball around. Nice pressure there by North Greenville. And with good defending, that leads to the first throw into the game. It looks like Abby Mayer with a tackle, number eight for the Crusaders. Referee calls a foul on North Greenville, and that'll be a free kick for Lander. Here's the ensuing free kick. Cleared away by North Greenville, and now here they are on the counterattack. Faith Needler trying to get to the ball, taken away from her. And now here's Gracie Beeson on the right side, taking on Sarah Hazelwood. And can Faith Needler keep the ball in play? Not quite but it looks like it's going to be a North Greenville throw-in. Well, folks, it's a beautiful day for the season opener for the Lady Crusaders and the Lady Bearcats. It is sunny outside and 79 degrees, and the temperatures will gradually fall just a little bit as the rest of the night goes on. Well, back to the action here in Tigerville with Gracie Beeson on the right side and good defending there by the left back for the Crusaders, number six, Cameron Pagliero. Another one of those returning faces for North Greenville that will be a vital key of this team as she was last spring. Here's Beeson again. Beeson gets the ball back from Mia Piazza. And now Abby Mayer with the ball looking for options ahead of her. And Shelby Shepard will kick the ball out of bounds for a lander throw-in to be taken by number 12 for the Bearcats. That's Mackenzie Yandel. Nice flick on by number 28, Kelsey Fisher. And good defending by North Greenville means it'll be another throw-in for the Bearcats. Good steal by Abby Mayer, but in the nick of time there for the Bearcats to keep her from going any further was number 22, Haley Bolig. Bolig, a junior midfielder from Aiken, South Carolina, and a graduate from South Aiken High School in action tonight for the Lady Bearcats. Referee will, before the throw-in comes in, he'll tell Cameron Pagliaro to take a couple steps back, and now the ball will be thrown in. And a good steal there by number two, Mia Piazza. Pagliero is there again, but Kelsey Fisher wins it back. She crosses in the box, cleared away. And once again by Natalie Johnson. And good defending there by the right back for the Crusaders. That's the right forward, excuse me, Megan Beal getting all the way back. And now here's... Faith Needler, the top goal scorer for my season. She's in on goal. Can she score? Crosses across the box. And a good block there. Great defending by number two, Mia Piazza. Well, it looked like the top goal scorer from last season, Faith Needler, was sure to shoot for goal. She crossed the ball across the box looking for Megan Beal. And it was a fantastic block by number two, Mia Piazza, to keep it from being 1-0. Natalie Johnson playing the ball forward. Good defending by Lander. And Sarah Hazelwood will play it once again forward. And now the ball will roll out of play for another throw in.
throw in for Lander now. Robinson kicks it high into the air and it will go out of bounds for once again another Bearcats throw. Well as I mentioned I'm sure both of these teams are stoked to be back in action in the fall season after a whole two years without having a full 17-18 game schedule. And with this season opener tonight, I'm sure both these teams are just absolutely excited right alongside their head coaches. Well, here is Lizzie Luzzi who retrieves the ball for North Greenville. Once again, getting her first start for the Crusaders tonight in goal. Hazelwood was looking for Cameron Pagliero there, but the ball will trickle out of bounds for a lander throw. Nice touch there. That's number 18, Marin White for the Bearcats. She finds Emma Sexton, but good defending there by North Greenville. And the defender, Micah Spickerman, will let it roll out of play, and she will take this throw. Nicely done there. But now the ball will be played forward and finds Faith Neither at her feet. Neither with a nice little move, and she finds Shelby Shepard. Shepard plays the ball forward. And now here's the captain for this evening, Megan Beal, and the referee does say that'll be a free kick, and the foul committed by number 13, Ashley Ural, for the Bearcats. So a free kick opportunity here for the Lady Crusaders from about 30, 35 yards out. Is the ensuing free kick and into the arms of the goalkeeper, number zero, Sarah Owen. Nice defending there by Abby Mayer, and it finds Cameron Pagliero, who finds Natalie Johnson. And Megan Beal initially lost the ball, but she wins it back for her side. And now they'll try to keep possession here with Ansley Robinson, head coach Andy Robinson's youngest daughter, who is a junior this year at North Greenville. Here's Faith Needler, top goal scorer from last year, looking to get amongst the goals this season as well. Just this past spring, speaking of the number nine, she played in all 11 games that they had. She scored a total of 10 goals, recorded two assists, and was just a stellar player this past season. And I'm sure Andy Robinson is glad to have her back in the squad for another season with him. Well, now it's going to be another throw in for North Greenville. And here's Robinson once more. As a not a bad ball forward by one of the new faces for this side, the Lady Crusaders number seven, Romy Contreras. One of the new faces in this squad who is a junior this year. And Contreras is a junior from Rancho Cucamonga, California. And she's transferred from the University of Montevallo. So one of the new additions to Andy Robinson's team this season in the starting 11. And here she is again. Contreras still looking for options. Looking for Abby Mayer, can't quite find her. Natalie Johnson now finding, trying to find Mayer, but nice defending there. And can they keep it in play? Yes, you can. Nice stuff by Mia Piazza. And she'll play the ball forward, and she finds Emma Sexton. And now the Lander Bearcats will try to keep possession. Here's Kelsey Fisher.
Haley Bolig had that pass, and now she finds her defender, number 12, Mackenzie Yandel. And now here's Piazza once again. Back to the goalkeeper, Sarah Owen. She'll bring it under control, and now she'll find her midfielder ahead of her, and that's Romy Lewin, Llewellyn, excuse me. Nice turn there by number 18, Marin White, but she loses out, and now the Crusaders are on the counterattack, looking for options. And Megan Beal was looking for on the far side, another one of the new additions, and that's number, looks like a number 29 on that far side, Sarah Ad Adcock. But she couldn't quite find her, and it'll be a, another possession chance for the Lander Bearcats. Given away, and now here's Shelby Shepard in the midfield. Here's the ball play forward. And here's a shot on goal, and it's an easy save for Lizzie Luzzi to deny number seven for Lander, and that's Gracie Beeson. Confidence boost building save, hopefully, for Lizzie tonight. Natalie Johnson. Here's Sarah Adcock. And nice defending there by number 27 for Lander. Micah Spickerman, and that will lead to a lander throw. Nice build up, but not quite enough as the ball is just a little too much for Emma Sexton to handle. And now it'll be a throw in for lander once again, looks like. Nice defending by Sarah Hazelwood there, and now the Crusaders will take advantage and try to take care of the ball, but it's given away, but one back by Cameron Pagliaro. And nicely done by her to stay on her feet for the most part until she was shoved over, and the referee will call a foul for another free kick. Take advantage and get across in the box. So another goal kick opportunity for North Greenville. Hazelwood finds Robinson. Robinson to Shepard. And here's Contreras. Very strong midfielder. Continuing to push on with the ball. Here's Megan Beal. Really good work there by Contreras for a second to shield off two defenders. But now here's Lander on the counterattack. Here's the cross in the box, cleared away by Cameron Pagliero, and she brings it under control. Nice switch of play to find Abby Mayer. Positive touch forward. Here's a chance for North Greenville on that far left side. Nice defending by the right back for Lander Mia Piazza. And now they'll try to keep the ball here with only 20 minutes gone in the half. And the ball will be kept in play for Lander con to continue to keep possession. And nice defending by Robinson. Well, speaking of Robinson, you see him standing up over there. That's the head coach for the Lady Crusaders, Mr. Andy Robinson. He is currently in his seventh season at the helm for the Lady Crusaders. 
and in his tenure as the head coach, he's led this team to much success. He's appeared in six Conference Carolinas tournaments. And we'll get back to those stats here in a second as we're on the counterattack for North Greenville. And the ball's played through, and Sarah Owen comes out to claim it. Good chance there for North Greenville on that counterattack, but Sarah Owen was out quickly to claim the ball for the Bearcats. Well, going back to Andy Robinson, he's obtained much success as he's appeared in six Conference Carolinas tournaments. He's obtained Coach of the Year awards in 2018, 2017, and 2020. And last season, he led his team all the way to the Conference Carolinas tournament final where they fell 1-0 to Mount Olive. So a lot of success in this program under Andy Robinson. And with the season opener tonight, he'll look to start out on the right foot and continue to move in a positive direction throughout the season. Here's Cameron Pagliari with the throw, flicked on by Shelby Shepard. But the Lander Bearcats retrieve, and now they'll be on the counterattack. Nice through ball there by Gracie Beeson. And she was looking for number 28, Kelsey Fisher, but she couldn't quite find her by good defending from Shelby Shepard. Here's Sarah Hazelwood. Johnson, she finds Robinson. Looking for options forward, she'll boom a long ball looking for Megan Beal. Owens coming off her line, and it was a good decision because Megan Beal was on the doorstep waiting for the ball. And if she, she didn't retrieve the ball, that's probably going in the back of the net if you ask me. Now Hazel will, will play the ball forward. She finds Romy Contreras. Nice turn there. And another good move. And she finds... Faith Needler at the top of the box. Is she on sides? Nope, the offside flag does come up. And even though it was a good shot that went into the net, the offside flag was up very quickly against Romy Contreras. And that'll be a free kick for Lander. Well, great build up there by the junior forward for North Greenville. She made a couple moves to get by three midfielders. And if it wasn't for the offside flag, that'd be 1-0. Here's Gracie Beeson. Yandel to Piazza, back to Beeson. Good build up here by the Bearcats. She'll play a long ball forward, but it's too much for the forwards and it'll roll easily to the goalkeeper, Lizzie Luzzi. Here's Sarah Hazelwood. Nice ball forward as she finds Abby Mayer with a positive first touch. Can she keep it in play? Yes, she can. But nice defending there by number 12 for Lander, and that's Mackenzie Yandel. Yandel, the senior from West Columbia, South Carolina, and a graduate from White Knoll High School in action tonight for the Lady Bearcats. Among those are Turners for the Lander Bearcats this season. Well, I mentioned a minute ago talking about head coach Andy Robinson. And he's had quite a bit of success at the tenure and at the helm for the Lady Crusaders. Throw in for North Greenville. And a couple substitutions that just came on for the Crusaders as well. It looks like on this left side, number 21, Kayla Cruz, number two, Eleni Sprinkle. And those are your two substitutions coming into the game. Both Sprinkle and Cruz played a critical role last season in the Crusaders run to the Conference Carolina's tournament final. Eleni Sprinkle actually scored a goal in the semifinal game when they took on Lise McCray. Nice defending there by Pagliaro, and here's Abby Mayer 
with the ball for the Crusaders on the counterattack. Kayla Cruz with her first touch. And she'll win the ball back and find Abby Mayer as she's driving forward. Still Abby Mayer. She goes down. Referee says that's the ball, no foul. Here's Kelsey Fisher. Great intervention there by Natalie Johnson, and she'll find Cameron Pagliero. But as she was looking for Kayla Cruz, Mia Piazza was there first. And now Lainey Sprinkle with some really physical toughness trying to win the ball back, and she'll find Abby Mayer forward. Nice move there in the midfield, and very close to finding Lainey Sprinkle again. But once again, the right back for Lander, Mia Piazza is there again. Here's Cruz. Long ball forward, and Romy Contreras was making a good run, but the ball was just over her head. Here's Emma Sexton. Fisher. Robinson did just enough there, and Contreras will keep the ball in play. Nice move there once again. Contreras showing her skills in her first game under Andy Robinson. And speaking of skills, Megan Beals is going to try to keep the ball in play, but nice defending by Lander will lead to another throw in. Well, folks, if you're just joining us, there's 20 minutes to go in the first half and not too much action between these two teams. North Greenville has had most of the possession, I would say, and a couple of shots, but Nothing to come from it just yet, and these teams are still scoreless in the first half. Well, there's a foul there by number eight, Abby Mayer, and that will be a free kick for Lander. Free kick's going to be taken by number 27, Micah Spickerman. And she'll find Mackenzie Yandel, who will give it right back to her. Nice work here by number 13. And that was Ashley Ural for the Bearcats, who's dribbling through the midfield. And the ball forward just a little bit too much. And that was a decent ball, but it's going to be a goal kick for North Greenville. Hazelwood will find Eleni Sprinkle. Now Romy Contreras. Nice move to get past uh, number 15 for the Bearcats, but they will win it back. And now they're playing through, and here's a shot on goal, and there's the first goal of the game. What a way to open up the campaign, the 2021 season for the Lander Bearcats. It was a nice ball played through, and on the end of it was number 18, Marin White with the goal for the Bearcats. And with 18 and a half minutes to go in the first half, your score from Tigerville, Lander 1, North Greenville 0. And it looked like North Greenville was just caught out there by some really good build-up and passing to get through the North Greenville defense. There was a gap between the right back and Ansley Robinson. And Marin White took advantage and slotted it past Lizzie Luzzi to give the Bearcats the lead. So now we're back underway, and now the Crusaders will try to take advantage and try to score and respond to get back in this game. Here's Hazelwood. Pagliero. Johnson. Abby Mary will check to the ball, looking for options, and she'll give it back to Natalie Johnson. Nice defending there by, looks like number... 18, Marin White once again. Given away by Lander, and now Kayla Cruz will look for Abby Mayer. 
but nice defending there by Mackenzie Yandel, but not before a foul is called. And it looks like it's going to be a foul on Abby Mayer on Mackenzie Yandel. And Abby Mayer is looking confused, and I kind of agree. So she's having a quick conversation with the referee who is telling her to calm down. And it looks like it will be a free kick to Lander. Here's Micah Spickerman playing the ball forward. And a nice touch there to bring it down. And that looks like number eight, Emma Sexton. Here's Yandel. Piazza with some work to do, but she gives the ball away. And now it looks like Ansley Robinson needs to retrieve and get back. Here's Marin White, the goal scorer, given away to Natalie Johnson. Good turn by Megan Beal. Now she needs to find some options. Nice run being made on the far side. And that was well defended there by the defender for the Bearcats, number 13, Ashley Ural. So throw in for the Crusaders and a big opportunity to maybe get back in this game. Lenny Sprinkle, we know, has a long throw, and here it is. Into the box. Looking for Megan Beal, and now Lenny Sprinkle will cross it in again. And that's high and over the crossbar. And that'll be a goal kick for the Bearcats. Give it away by Lander, but they win it right back with Gracie Beeson. And now Kayla Cruz will find Cameron Pagliero. And now the Crusaders will see if they can find some possession as well. Here's Ainsley Robinson. Long ball forward looking for Romy Contreras. And Sarah Owen is quickly off her line to retrieve the ball and distribute it quickly. But maybe that was a little too quickly for Micah Spickerman. And that will be a goal kick or a throw in for North Greenville. And it looks like some substitutions coming into the game. That looks like number 13, the senior forward, Mackenzie Neff, and the senior midfielder, number 22, Victoria Valentine. Two vital players in this North Greenville squad that are returning from last season's stellar uh, run all the way to the. Conference Carolina's tournament final. Here's Lander on the counterattack. Valentine with her first touches of the half. And she did very well there to win the ball back from number 28, Kelsey Fisher. Here's Megan Beal. That was Natalie Johnson, rather. And now Lizzie Luzzi will have the ball for the Crusaders and try to keep possession, looking for options. She'll find Sarah Hazelwood. Nice defending there by Mackenzie Yandel, and it'll go out for a throw in for North Greenville. Well, as I was mentioning earlier, talking about head coach Andy Robinson, on the flip side for the Lady Bearcats, their head coach, his name is Chris Ayer. He's in his 17th season as the head coach of the women's soccer program, and he was hired um, in May 2006 as the head coach. 
He is the winningest coach in Landers women's soccer history with an overall record of 128, 98, and 20 in his first 15 seasons. He has taken the Bearcats to 12 Peach Belt Conference tournaments, one NCAA tournament, and has recorded six double-digit win seasons. And even though they might not have been as successful as he might have wanted to last season, he has brought success to this program in the past. And with his team being up 1-0 right now, he'll be looking to start off their season on the right foot and move forward from there. Here's North Greenville on the counterattack. Nice defending there by the defender. And that's number 27, Micah Speaker Speakerman. Here's Romy Contreras. Johnson will give the ball away, but no problem for the Crusaders because they'll have the ball right back for a throw in. Contreras will find Valentine. Here's Natalie Johnson. Looking for Laney Sprinkle, but it went through her feet. And now here's Lander on the counterattack. Here's Emma Sexton. Haley Bolick on that far side, and she'll play the ball forward and find only the, only the feet of the goalkeeper, Lizzie Luzzi. Time and space for Ainsley Robinson to take. But that ball's given away, and Natalie Johnson will win it back and find Luzzi once again. Luzi telling her defenders to get forward as she's taking her space, and she's looking for options now as well. Here's Yandel. Not a bad idea by Marin White, but it's given away, and now Mackenzie Neff will win the ball temporarily but Lander will win it back. Eleni Sprinkle with the cross in the box for North Greenville, and it's safely in the arms for Sarah Owen. Here's Haley Bolig. Good pressure by North Greenville as Kayla Cruz is looking for Mackenzie Neff. And now Valentine will temporarily win the ball, but Marin White with a good tackle. Cruz is there once more. Johnson. Crossing the box and a good header away by Haley Bolig again. Kelsey Fisher will fade the ball and now only find the feet of Ainsley Robinson. Piazza will keep the ball in play and find her teammate. And that's Emma Sexton again. And smart play by Sexton, and, and the ball will go out for another throw in for Kelsey Fisher, who was going to take it, but instead she's going to leave it for a player who's been very active so far in this first half, and that's Mia Piazza. But first, some substitutions coming into the game for the Bearcats. And it looks like Fisher's going to come off. So Kelsey Fisher is going to come off. And it looks like Emma Sexton's also going to come off. Now here's North Greenville on the counterattack with Mackenzie Neff looking for Romy Contreras. And once again, Sarah Owen is quick to react. Well, some substitutions. The subs who came in for Lander, number 26, Reyna Buno. 
number 17, Tessa Simmons, and number three, Mary Mooseberger. So they have come into the game for Chris Ayer's side to make a difference. Here's Ailey Botig. Mackenzie Yandel. Here's the substitute. And that's number 26, Reyna Bu uh, Buno. Mooseberger trying to keep the ball in play but can't quite do so. And it'll be a throw in for North Greenville. Seven minutes to go in the half and the white team is going to try to see if they can equalize and maybe find a response before the end of the half. Here's Sarah Owen. Owen, who's been fairly busy this half, who's hadn't had too many saves to make, but definitely had to bend on her toes. She's a graduate student from Lake Wales, Florida, and a graduate of Lake Wales High School. Starting goalkeeper for the Lander Bearcats tonight. Here's Micah Spickerman looking for options ahead of her. That's a nice ball played through, and Hazelwood had to deal with it, and she did. And here's Mackenzie Neff with a positive touch, but a little too much for her to handle. Contreras will win it back, and she'll find Natalie Johnson. Ball played forward. Looking for options. Kayla Cruz is in the box. Still has the ball. She's looking for options. And once again, the right back, Mia Piazza, with some great defending. And Cruz might have had a little less time on the ball than she thought. Play on, says the referee. And there's another one of the substitutions, number nine, getting her first touch of the half, Annika Seifert. Nice ball played long. And Lizzie Luzzi has to come off her line. And is that ball going to roll in the net? Yes, it is. Well, one of the top goal scorers for Lander last season claiming the touch and that's number three the substitute who came onto the field just a few minutes ago Mary Mooseberger Mooseberger the sophomore from Irmo South Carolina the graduate from Dutch Fork High School gets on the score sheet and puts the Bearcats 2-0 up with five and a half minutes to go in the first half updated score from Tigerville Lander 2 North Greenville 0 and some more substitutions coming into the game for Lander as well before the, the resuming kickoff. Back underway. And North Greenville will try to keep possession. Two more substitutions that just came into the game for North for Lander is number 16, Katie Arthur, and number 17, Tessa Simmons. So two more substitutions for Chris Ayer's side. Given away by Lander, and now Kayla Cruz will drive on the left side looking to push forward. And on the flip side for substitutions, several more substitutes have come into the game. And the other one that has come in is number 20 at left back for Cayman Pagliero, number 20 at Molly Platt. Another key member of the side that drove this team in white to the final of the tournament final last year. Here's Buena. Good block there by Johnson. And Valentine will win back, and she'll find Romy Contreras on that far right side. Mackenzie Neff making a good run on that side in the middle, but Micah Spickerman with some good defending. Neff right on her back, and the referee will call a shove in the back, and it'll be a free kick for Lander.
Three and a half minutes to go in the half, folks. Here's Mackenzie Yandel for the Lander Bearcats. Taking her space forward, looking for options. Nice ball played through. And temporarily, that found the feet of number 26, Reina Bueno. Bueno, the substitution coming in, is a sophomore from Chesapeake, Virginia, and a graduate from Grassfield High School. Here's Seifert. Nice steal by Kayla Cruz. Molly Platt. Here's Victoria Valentine. Two and a half minutes to go in the half. Natalie Johnson. Contreras. Dribbling, looking for options. Nice ball played through. Valentine with a shot. Blocked away. Mackenzie Neff trying to get a shot on goal. Three bodies go down, and now Sprinkle has a chance to shoot. Still, still there on the edge of the area of the box. Contreras again. Valentine with a shot, and it's just a little over the crossbar. Well, nice build up there, and unfortunately for the Crusaders, the ball goes out of bounds for a goal kick for Sarah Owen to take with two minutes to go in the half. And Sarah Owen there for a second was telling her defenders, you've got to stay tight there to make sure they can't get a shot through, knowing how dangerous this North Greenville team has been in the past. Good clearance away by Sarah Hazelwood, and Roman Contreras can't quite keep it in, and it'll be a lander throw in. Here's Bueno. Here's Piazza. Given away by Lander, but they win it right back. Another long ball played forward, looking for Bueno once again. Here's Mary Mooseburger, the goal scorer. Mooseburger looking for options. She crosses in the box, cleared away by North Greenville. And now a long shot on goal will go well wide of the frame. Luzi with the goal kick, and she'll take it short to find Sarah Hazelwood. 30 seconds to go in the half. Cruz with a touch, and that touch will roll out of bounds for a throw in. Here's another substitute for the Lander Bearcats. And that was number six with the ball, Karina Byland. Two seconds, one second, and there's the whistle. That's the end of the first half, folks. Good half for Lander. They are up 2-0 here in Tigerville, South Carolina. Goals coming from Marin White. And the assist for that goal was Emma Sexton. And the second goal of the half was by number three, the substitute, Mary Mooseberger. And she did the work herself, getting in on goal. Well, there's your halftime score, folks. We will be back in just a few moments with a kickoff of the second half. And as we take a break from here, we'll take a break as well. Your score once again from Tigerville, Lander 2, North Greenville 0.
and welcome back to Tigerville, South Carolina. In just a few moments, we're about to kick off the second half of this season opener for both of these teams, the North Greenville Crusaders and the Lander Bearcats. Coming into this half, the Lander Bearcats had a stellar first half with goals coming from number 18, Marin White, and number 3, Mary Mooseburger. And they are leading this contest 2-0. and both teams will come right back out for the start of the second half and kickoff will be in just a few moments. And it looks like for both teams they have the majority of their starters that they had starting out and a couple substitutions and a couple changes from the way they started the first half. Referee will look at his watch and he'll blow the whistle and we're underway here in Tigerville for the start of the second half. North Greenville will have the ball going from left to right and this time Lander in their blue kits will go from right to left. Here's Mary Mooseburger getting her first touch on the ball for the half. There's Ansley Robinson with the ball for the Crusaders, and she'll find Sarah Hazelwood, and they will keep possession. Johnson. Johnson again, looking for Megan Beal, and she'll retrieve and find Johnson once more. Nice ball to Romy Contreras, who is strong on that right side. Looking for options. Contreras playing a ball in the middle, but great clearance there by the center back, and that looks like number 12, Mackenzie Yandel. Here's Cameron Pagliaro on the left side for the Crusaders. Nice tackle by Mia Piazza. One back by Natalie Johnson. Should play long ball. And here's Shelby Shepard on the right side, getting in the box. Here's a shot on goal, and it's a easy save for the goalkeeper, Sarah Owen. Decent build up there by the Crusaders with Shelby Shepard winning the ball on the right side. But the shot was deflected by Micah Spickerman and into the arms of the goalkeeper, Owen. And here's Spickerman once again. Long ball forward with their left foot, headed away by Sarah Hazelwood. Finds the feet of Faith Needler. Nice work there by Marin White, the goal scorer, and referee says, play on. They're going to be with the ball. She'll have a shot, and it goes wide of the target. Well, very physical battle there between the goal scorer for the Lander Bearcats, Marin White, and the top goal scorer from North Greenville from last season, number nine, Faith Needler. Both of them went down, and as the referee said, play on. Beal had a shot that just went wide of Sarah Owen's goal. So it'll be the Bearcats' ball. And it is now at the feet of Mackenzie Yandel. Here's one of Lander's starters, and that's number seven for Lander. Gracie Beeson. The ball will choke a lot of play for a North Greenville throw. As I mentioned earlier, it's a beautiful night for a game of soccer in South Carolina. Currently it is 73 degrees from the 79 degrees it was earlier with the sunshine. And the temperatures will continue to slowly drop from 73 to 72 by the, by the time the full-time whistle comes. Here's Natalie Johnson looking for Romy Contreras, but a vital intervention by number 13, Ashley Ural. Sarah Adcock, the graduate student for North Greenville, will take this throw. Adcock is another one of the new faces for this North Greenville side. and She's a graduate student coming from Birmingham, Alabama, and she transferred this year coming from Mercer University.
cleared away by Lander, and it'll stay in play for number eight. That's Emma Sexton. But it's one back by North Greenville. Given away, though. Here's Sexton again. Both teams trying their best to keep possession. But some of the passes are just a little off. Here's Romy Contreras for the North Greenville Crusaders. Faith Needler finds Contreras again. Nice work by Contreras, and she almost won the ball back. And she does win the ball back. Trying to get around two defenders, and she still got has the ball. Brilliant work by Contreras to win the ball back. And here's Natalie Johnson. She'll find Abby Mayer on the left side. Good tackle by number 28, Kelsey Fisher. She'll find Emma Sexton ahead of her. Here's Lander on the counterattack. Mary Mooseberger, the goal scorer, making a good run on the left side. And nice defending by the graduate student, Sarah Adcock. Shelby Shepard with some good physical work, but the referee saw an extended arm and called the whistle for a free kick on Marin White. And it'll be a free kick for the Lander Bearcats. This free kick is going to be taken by Micah Spickerman. It's a decent ball in the box, headed away by the tall Shelby Shepard. Adcock gets to it first, right, bef right before Mary Mooseberger does first. And it'll be the first corner of the second half for Lander to take. And on that left side, it looks like Kelsey Fisher and Mary Mooseberger will stand over this free kick. It's taken short. Here's Ashley Ural. Crosses in the box, looking for options. And there's a shot, and it's an easy save for Lizzie Luzzi to deny the girl who scored the first goal of the game. And that's Marin White. So... Lizzie Luzzi will tell her team to get forward as she gets ready to punt. It's a good ball forward, but nice defending by Ural once again. Nearly a giveaway by Robinson. But Natalie Johnson will recover and find Sarah Hazelwood. Here's Sarah Adcock. Nice work by her to win the ball once again for the Lady Crusaders. Here's Abby Mayer given away and Micah Spickerman will play the ball forward. Adcock again. Nice cross in the box, looking for Romy Contreras, and it's just ahead of her. Great opportunity there for North Greenville, and it was a beautiful ball in by the right back. But here's Ansley Robinson. She'll play a long ball forward. It finds Megan Beal. Faith Needler. Blocked away by Lander. Beal still, still trying to stay with it. And Ashley Ural with some good defending, and it'll be a throw in for North Greenville. Throw in is going to be taken by Sarah Adcock. Finding Megan Beal. It's a nice cross in the box. And on the back post there was Abby Mayer, and it's safely in the arms of Sarah Owen once again. As I mentioned earlier, she's been 
involved several times in some key plays for Lander to keep them at a clean sheet. And her clean sheet is still intact for now. Here's Sarah Hazelwood, the senior, senior center back for North Greenville. Almost a giveaway by Natalie Johnson. And Ansley Robinson will win it and look for options, but it's given away. Here's Kelsey Fisher. Sexton will bring it down, and the referee will blow a whistle. Well, he'll actually say play on. I was assuming he was going to blow the whistle for a foul there. But referee says play on, and here's North Greenville on the counterattack with Megan Beal looking for Abby Mayer, who's through. She's in the box. Now she finds Romy Contreras on the edge of the area. Nice turn by her, and the referee will now blow a whistle for a free kick opportunity in a very good area for North Greenville. And look who's going to retrieve the ball for her is number... 17 Megan Beal. She's a very good free kick taker and it looks like she's going to be the one standing over this free kick for the Lady Crusaders. Sarah Owen is on her left post right now setting up a three-man wall. And they're in a position that Owen likes. Megan Beal standing over this free kick. What can she do? And it'll be clipped over the wall, but also over the crossbar. And it'll be a goal kick for Sarah Owen. Here's Micah Spickerman. Nice intervention by Sarah Ad Adcock but given away to Kelsey Fisher. Nice ball on the left side. Mary Mooseburger's making a good run. Taking on Ainsley Robinson, she cuts inside. And that was Emma Sexton looking for Mooseburger again. But Ashley Ural wins it right back. And now here's Faith Needler with some good work. She finds Megan Beal going forward. Nice one-two combination between the two. Neither with a cross in the box. Nice defending there by Mackenzie Yandel, and it'll be a corner kick for North Greenville. Good build up there by the Crusaders as there was a nice one two combination with Megan Beal and Faith Needler. And it'll be the first corner of the half for Andy Robinson's team. 33 minutes left to go in the half, and the Crusaders have some work to do in order to get back in this game. So Sarah Adcock will take this corner. It's a decent ball in the box, and it's hit, it's cleared away by the goalkeeper, Sarah Owen. And now here's the Bearcats on the counterattack. Mary Mooseburger on this left side. Taking on Ainsley Robinson. She cuts inside. 2v4 right now. Emma Sexton giving it back to Mary Mooseburger. And now the Calvary has returned for North Greenville, but some numbers are coming forward for Lander. Here's Emma Sexton again. Here's Haley Bolig. And it's the throw in for the Lady Bearcats. Here's Micah Spickerman. Long ball forward. Headed away by Hazelwood, but it goes right to number 28, Kelsey Fisher. Emma Sexton with a shot. Saved by Lizzie Luzzi. She tells her team to get forward, and it a very good thing to tell her team to get forward because they need to get some goals quickly. given away by Lander and that it will be a throw in for Sarah Adcock to take.
and the ball will stay in play for Faith Needler to battle to win the ball, and Micah Spickerman will kick it out of play for another throw. Here's Needler once again, cuts inside, gets across in the box, and what's the defending to do? It's given away in the box. Here's Shelby Shepard with a shot, goal! Lovely goal from North Greenville, the first of the season, and it gets them right back in the game. Shelby Shepard, the senior midfielder, gets the Crusaders on the board. Their first of the season, and your score from Tigerville with 30 minutes to go. Lander two, North Greenville one. Beautiful work there by Faith Needler to cut inside of the Lander defenders. She got a cross in the box. And Shelby Shepard from the top of the area finds the bottom right corner, beats Sarah Owen, and gets this team right back into the game with their first goal of the season. And that was also really good work there by one of the substitutes, number 31, Alexa Fight fighting for the ball in the box and getting that ball to the top of the 18 for Shelby Shepard to take a beautiful one-time shot with her first involvement in her career under Andy Robinson as Alexa Fight is another one of the new faces in this program. So now the Crusaders are right back in this game with 30 minutes to go, folks, and it'll be a free kick opportunity for them from just behind the midway line. Hazelwood to take the free kick. It's a long ball. Nice flick on. And can Romy Contreras keep it in? Sarah Owen lost the ball for a second and battling for the ball and fighting really hard for it was the North Greenville Crusaders but the referee will play things safely and call the foul for a free kick for Sarah Owen to take one exciting start to the second half folks if you're just joining us Lander went into this half going 2-0 on top of the Crusaders but just a few moments ago the senior midfielder for the Crusaders Shelby Shepard took a beautiful one-time shot to get this, these Crusaders back in the game. The senior midfielder from Johns Creek, Georgia. And the graduate from Northview High School. But now here's Lander on the counterattack, and it's Mary Mooseberger who's in the box trying to keep the ball in play. Crosses in the box. Nice defending there by the junior center back, Ansley Robinson. And it'll be a corner kick for Lander to take. Corner to be taken by Kelsey Fisher. The header in and Lizzie Luzzi watches it go wide of her goal but it's going to be another corner kick for the Bearcats to take. Looked like that header came in by number eight, Emma Sexton. But it was a vital intervention there by North Greenville for another corner kick. Six blue shirts as targets for number 13, Andrea Ural, Ashley Ural, who will take this corner. Decent ball in the box, cleared away by Megan Beal. Ashley Ural will get to this ball again. And now they will try to keep possession as North Greenville will pressure. Spickerman looking for a long ball forward. And she does play the ball long. Given away, and Sarah Adcock will find Romy Contreras on the right side. We know she has speed. Here she is on the counterattack. Faith Needler looking for options in the center. Here's Shelby Shepard, the goal scorer again, and it's a good save, vital save. 
Well, she's just scored the first goal of the season and her first of the season a minute ago, and that was very close to being the second of the game for her. And if it wasn't for Sarah Owen, this would be a 2-2 ball game. Here's Mackenzie Yandel. Mia Piazza. Owen. Spickerman. Looking for options. She'll play the ball long. Looking for the run of Mary Mooseburger. And Ansley Robinson is right there with the ball the whole time. And the ball will go out for a throw in for the Crusaders. Nice ball by Robinson to find Romy Contreras. Nice touch by Megan Beal. She goes down, and the referee says the ball is played, and now the referee will call the foul against Megan Beal for a free kick. Well, the Crusaders got one goal back, folks, and they're going to try their best to get the second to get the equalizer. But first, it's going to be a free kick for the Bearcats to be taken by Micah Spickerman. Nice touch by Emma Sexton. Here's Marin White. Gets it back from Emma Sexton. Good intervention by Sarah Hazelwood. And now it's a counterattack for North Greenville. Here's Faith Needler to number nine. Sarah Adcock making a great run on the right side. Romy Contreras taking on Spickerman. Nice defending by her. And the deflection off Contreras will mean a throw in for the Bearcats. But first, some substitutions are going to come into the game, and it looks like for Lander. Well, it looks like the substitutions coming in for the team in blue are number 26, Reina Bueno. And the other one is number 17, Tessa Simmons. And Simmons will be taking the throw right now. The header flicked on was deflected out by Sarah Adcock. And it will be a throw in again for Lander. Nice headers by both Sexton and Fisher, but the ball will be given back to North Greenville. Good pressure there by Sexton, though. Can she keep the ball in play? Not quite. It'll be a throw in in the corner for North Greenville. Throw in long. Given away by North Greenville. And now the ball will be played through. And Robinson's going to try to shield it out. And she does very well. And it'll be a goal kick for Lizzie Luzzi. Well, 22 and a half minutes to go. And North Greenville's done part of their job. And the next part of their job is to get the equalizer. And if they have time, maybe the winner. So here's Lizzie Luzzi with the goal kick. Nicely done as she finds Sarah Adcock. Robinson finds Verumi Contreras, who finds Faith Needler. And there's the substitute coming into the game for the Crusaders, who was on the ball a second ago, Eleni Sprinkle, who won the ball back and Gave the ball to Ansley Robinson, who found Rumi Contreras. And with good defending by number 17, Tessa Simmons, it'll be a corner kick for 
the Lady Crusaders with 21 minutes to go in the half and the game. Nice ball in, and it was just over the head of Alexa Fight. It's going to be one back. Another substitution coming into the game is Kayla Cruz, who just won that ball. Megan B with a cross in, headed away. At the top of the 18 is not a one, a person in white, but it does find the feet of Ansley Robinson. Sarah Adcock crosses in the box, looking for options again, cleared away by Yandel. And now here's Bueno. So some key substitutions that came into the game a second ago for the Crusaders. Number two, Eleni Sprinkle. And some more substitutions that will come in just the next few moments. As well as number 21, Kayla Cruz on that far left side. Here's Emma Sexton for the Bearcats. Spickerman. Spickerman will kick the ball out of play for a throw in for North Greenville. 20 minutes to go in, that, in the game. Another substitution looks like will be brought in for the Lady Crusaders. Throw to be taken by Eleni Sprinkle, who has a very good throw in. Cleared away by Lander, and once again. And that substitution for the Crusaders is number 20, Molly Platt, who came in for her. And here's Platt on the ball, getting her first touch of the second half. Here's Lizzie Luzzi. Given away by Natalie Johnson. Here's Marin White. Nice tackle by Molly Platt, the substitute. Kayla Cruz with the throw in. And the shot is blocked by Lander. Eleni Sprinkle will retrieve the ball. Natalie Johnson. Adcock, Faith Needler, she adds a little bit of space, crosses the ball across the box, and it's just a little bit too wide. But it's very well done on that far left side, but it's kept in play. And they were very confused for a minute about how that ball was called out of bounds, because I thought that it was still in play, but it's going to be a lander throw in. Here's Kayla Cruz, cleared away by Lander. Big throw in coming from North Greenville. Eleni Sprinkle will take. It's a long throw in the box. Flicked on by Megan Beal. Here's a shot, and it's over the bar. Great chance there for the Crusaders, and it wasn't a bad opportunity, but... Unfortunately, it was squandered, and it'll be a goal kick for Sarah Owen. 18 minutes to go and left in the half, folks. And if you're just joining us, Lander is on top 2-1 in Tigerville. They took the lead in the first half with a goal from Marin White. And to cap off the half, the second goal was by the substitute number three, Mary Mooseberger. But in the second half, the Lady Crusaders have come alive, and they've gotten one of the two goals they need back. And that goal was by a beautiful shot off the right foot of number 16 Shelby Shepard just a little while ago but they need another goal the Crusaders and they need it quickly here's Sarah Adcock nice defending by number 17 for the Crusaders for the Lady Bearcats and here she is again
play on, says the referee, after both a Crusader and a Bearcat go down. And now Megan Beal gets through two defenders. Looking for options, she finds Faith Needler, and it's cleared away by Mackenzie Yandel at the last moment. One back by Sarah Adcock, though. Looking for options. Nice defending by Tessa Simmons once again. 16 and a half minutes, and it feels like for Chris Ayer and the Bearcats, it's going to be a long 16 and a half minutes as Andy Robinson and the Crusaders are pushing for the equalizer. Cleared away again by Lander. Roman Contreras will try to win the ball back for the Crusaders, but it's won back by Adcock. Cross in the box. And well claimed there by Sarah Owen as Adcock was looking for Alexa fight there. Nice ball played through and a good touch by Ansley Robinson. And it finds the feet of the goalkeeper for the Crusaders, Lizzie Luzzi. Nice punt forward. And it does find the feet of a Crusader for a second, but it was taken away there by Lander. Nice defending by Natalie Johnson as she does win the ball, says the referee. Neither with a nice cut. Looking for options. She has a few ahead of her. Looking for Megan Beal. Megan Beal is in on goal, but a great sliding tackle. And once again, Tessa Simmons is in on the act. And she keeps Megan Beal from getting in on goal and possibly getting the equalizer they need. Tessa Simmons is a senior from Oviedo, Florida, and a graduate from Oviedo High School. So 15 minutes to go in the game. And with North Greenville needing an equalizer, this is one of the ways they've done it so often with an Eleni Sprinkle throw. Here it is into the box. Simmons is there again. Sprinkle with a good header. Here's Sarah Adcock, the grad student. Sprinkle. Crosses in the box, blocked away. And Simmons, well, not quite clear. And Sarah Owen says that's no problem. Throw in taken quickly by Kayla Cruz in wanting to get this play underway. But it will be a throw in as a result for Lander. But first, the referee will stop play for some substitutions to come into the game. And it looks like for the Lady Bearcats, that's going to be number six. And number six is Karina Byland. They're going to be taken, and now Faith Needler will try to win the ball. Can't quite do so. There's another, another sub coming into the game, and that's on that far left side. Number 13, Mackenzie Neff for the Lady Crusaders. But on the flip side, here's Lander on the counterattack with Emma Sexton. Nice tackle by Eleni Sprinkle. It'll find the feet of Faith Needler on the left side. She's driving forward, looking for options. Romy Contreras is making a great run on the edge of the 18. She cuts inside. It finds either again. Contreras! Saved by the goalkeeper. And she falls back on it again. Well, it's a great save by Sarah Owen to keep Lander in the game and keep their lead intact. But it was a beautiful 1-2 combination between Contreras and, F and Faith Needler. And if not for a great save by Sarah Owen, it would be 2-2. Yeah, here's the replay, folks. A nice little combination. Neither lays it back for Contreras, and Contreras was going to find the bottom left corner, but Sarah Owen was quick to react, and she fell right back on the rebound to prevent Faith Needler from getting the goal. Here's Natalie Johnson. Given away, and now here's Byland.
Ansley Robinson with good defending and they're claiming it's their throw and it will be a North Greenville throw off the deflection from number 15 for Lander and that's Romy Lelwillen. Here's Contreras. Gets around the defender beautifully and Tessa Simmons recovers very well. The Crusaders are hungry for that equalizer and it is putting some high pressure on this Lander defense. Here's Faith Neither in behind the defense though on the right side. Cross and it's a, another brilliant tackle by Tessa Simmons and it's another corner for the Crusaders. The crowd and the bench are both getting into it and they're wanting these Crusaders to get the equalizer they are so hungry for. Ten minutes to go in the half folks. Some really really exciting stuff. Kayla Cruz, the senior forward, will take this corner. It's a good delivery in the box, and it's shot by Megan Beal into the arms of Sarah Owen once again. Here's Owen once again. Spickerman. North Greenville, even with tired legs, says they aren't done yet. Here's Eleni Sprinkle. Kayla Cruz making the overlap. Crossing the box, looking for Faith Needler with the header. And once again, Sarah Owen has some easy work to do. Well, the Crusaders are getting closer and closer, but Sarah Owen, every time the question's been asked of her, she's been equal to it. Here's Faith Needler. Cutting inside. Tessa Simmons with another brilliant challenge. No foul, says the referee. He says play on. And a nice tackle there by Kayla Cruz to win the ball back for her team. Johnson. Robinson. Plays the long ball forward. Neither wins the ball. Here she is on the edge of the 18 with a shot. And off the post. Remy Contreras. Goal! 2-2. Two -two. They're back in the game. They've gotten the equalizer they have been looking for. Faith Neither was so unlucky with the rebound that went off the post. But Romy Contreras, the junior from California, gets her goal, her first of her career, and it gets the Crusaders the equalizer they were so hungry for. Here's the replay, folks. A nice tackle by Faith Neither to win the ball. Had the shot on the edge of the 18 that went off the post. And Romy Contreras was right there for the rebound. And your score from Tigerville with just a few minutes to go in the game. North Lander 2, North Greenville 2. What a hard-fought battle and what a way to get back in the game for the Lady Crusaders. And with nine minutes to go, if they have one more goal, they could very well win this game with the momentum that is swinging in their favor. Back underway in Tigerville with Lander in possession. On this far right side. Crossing the box. Well held by Lizzie Luzzi. And she'll settle down for a second and let her team move forward. Eight and a half minutes to go. Very exciting stuff here in Tigerville, folks. 2-2 two -two as Romy Contreras just got the goal a few moments ago. And the Lady Crusaders are right back in this game after being 2-0 down at halftime. Nice flick on by Faith Needler. Here's Eleni Sprinkle. Mackenzie Yandel with great control. Yandel once again. Nicely done by Ansley Robinson to clear the ball out of play. And it'll be a Landers throw in, but not before some substitutions come into play.
And it looks like those subs coming back into the game is number 28, Kelsey Fisher. And also coming into the game is number 16, Katie Arthur. And there's a foul on, looks like Marin White by number 25, Natalie Johnson. So it'll be a free kick opportunity here for the Lander Bearcats from about 30 yards out with seven minutes to go in the second half. The referee will tell where Lizzie Luzzi's wall, where to go. Here's the ensuing free kick. It's a good ball and Lizzie Luzzi was very smart to watch the ball go wide of her frame and it'll be a goal kick for her. And with the clock ticking, as I said a second ago, the Lady Crusaders that have gotten back in this game with the equalizer, with the momentum in their favor, could very well go on to get the winner if they push on for one more goal. Here's Kayla Cruz. Molly Platt sends a long ball forward. The ball gets behind Mackenzie Yandel, and Micah Spickerman will tell her graduate student goalkeeper, Sarah Owen, to claim the ball. There's another second half substitution on the ball there a second ago for the Crusaders, number 22, Victoria Valentine. And also coming in at right back a little while ago for Sarah Adcock is number six, Cameron Pagliero. So head coach Andy Robinson switching some things up and changing some players out of their natural positions. Here's Megan Beal. Valentine on the right side making a good run. Here she is on the top of the box. Looking for a shot. Another sliding challenge by Tessa Simmons. Johnson. Valentine again. Play on says the referee. Here's Cameron Pagliero. Looking for Faith Needler. Tessa Simmons once again. She's been very involved and very busy in the second half. Makes a vital intervention. But it's another corner. And with five minutes to go, you're asking the question, aren't you? Kayla Cruz will retrieve the ball and get ready to deliver this corner with five minutes to go in the second half. Here's the delivery. It's a decent ball in the box. Over Sarah Owens' head, and it was at the head of Faith Needler, and it goes over the bar, and the referee says goal kick. Well, it's a very good delivery, and Sarah Owen was in trouble there for a second, and fortunately for her, she was very glad to see that ball go over the crossbar. Here you see the replay. Owen missed it completely, and Faith Neither was there to get to it first, but unfortunately it went over the bar for her. Here's Micah Spickerman. Ball played through, and Molly Platt had a negative first touch, but she recovered well. Here's Cameron Pagliero. Mackenzie Neff. She gives the ball away to Gracie Beeson. Here's Mia Piazza. Nice work by Mackenzie Neff once again. Three and a half minutes to go in Tigerville, folks. This game is up for grabs. It's 2 2. It's a matter of who wants it more. Gracie Beeson with the loose touch, and it'll lead to a North Greenville throw. Given away by North Greenville, the cross in the box will be claimed by Lizzie Luzzi very easily. Luzzi will tell her team to get up and be ready for this ensuing punt. Nice ball forward that bounces over. Contreras with a flick on. Here's Needler. Valentine. Given away to Tessa Simmons.
Now Pagliero has the ball for the Crusaders. Here's Mackenzie Neff cutting inside. Valentine will win the ball and Kelsey Fisher is there. Here's Natalie Johnson. Valentine again. Remy Contreras is on sides. Here's the cross in the box. Cleared away. And nobody there on the back post to take advantage. Two minutes to go in Tigerville. Kayla Cruz on the ball for the Crusaders. Cuts inside of Mary Mooseberger. Cruz looking for options. Here's Remy Contreras, the goal scorer. Contreras trying to get around some defenders. Looking for options still. Valentine. And the ball is given away, but one back by Natalie Johnson. Here's the cross in by Mackenzie Neff. Header on by Victoria Valentine. Can Remy Contreras keep the ball in play? Yes, she can. Contreras is with the cross in the box. Cleared away. Valentine on the edge of the area. Johnson. Valentine. Here's a shot. And it's a comfortable save for Owen. She'll tell her team to get forward. One minute and 15 seconds to go. She'll throw the ball long to Mia Piazza. She's driving forward. Nice defending by Natalie Johnson. Piazza continuing her run forward for the Lady Bearcats. This time it's Pagliero with a good defending. 50 seconds. Gracie Beeson. Mackenzie Neff with the clearance forward. And now it's Mackenzie Yandel who keeps the ball in play. Here's the cross in the box. Good clearance away. 30 seconds to go. Pagliero with the ball forward, and it'll go out of bounds. And with the, the clock winding down, it looks like Lander will be slow to take the throw in. And with 10 seconds to go, the clock will wind down. Five seconds to go. Last opportunity for Lander. And Ansley Robinson is there. The clock hits all zeros, and there is the final whistle, folks. Well, an extraordinary second half, and what a great game to open up the fall 2021 season for both of these sides. Lander opened up the scoring account in the first half with two great goals coming from Marin White and Mary Mooseberger. And the question was asked of the Lady Crusaders in the second half if they could respond. And Andy Robinson's team did with two great goals from number 16, Shelby Shepard, and number 7, Romy Contreras, getting their first of the season. Well, thank you once again for joining us on the Conference Carolina's digital network for tonight's season opener. Your final score here from Tigerville, Lander 2, North Greenville 2. This has been Graham Lee, the voice of NGU Soccer.
Well, folks, I was mistaken. We're actually going to overtime with these two teams being tied 2-2. These two teams are not in conference, so we are <laughs> back in action in Tigerville for this first period of overtime. We'll have two 10-minute halves of overtime, and if the teams cannot settle that in those 20-minute overtime periods, then we will see what happens from there. But for now, the teams are at midfield, and they're deciding who's going to have the ball for the first overtime period. And for this first one, Lander will be on the left side as they started the game in the first half, going from left to right. And they will be defending first as North Greenville will have the ball and will be attacking from right to left. Referee checking to make sure everything's okay. And now we're underway for the first period of overtime between Lander and North Greenville. Here's Sarah Hazelwood. Ball given away. There's one of the substitutes coming in for Lander, and that's number 10 for the Lady Bearcats, getting her first touch of the game, Emma Scott. And the referee, after some good physical work on Lander's part, it looks like Marin White on that far side committed the foul against Kayla Cruz, and it'll be a free kick opportunity for North Greenville. Here's the ensuing free kick. Headed away by Micah Spickerman. Still there for North Greenville. And here's Natalie Johnson trying to get the ball in the box. Good defending there by Spickerman once again. Or excuse me, that was Tessa Simmons, who is heavily involved in the second half. And once again, she makes a vital intervention. Here's Romy Contreras. Cruz looking to get across in the box, and she does so. It finds the feet of Faith Needler. Looking to turn, she goes down. No penalty, says the referee. And it'll be another throw for North Greenville. Here's Emma Sexton for the Bearcats. Nice little move there, but Ansley Robinson is speedy to recover and win the ball back for her side. And she finds Sarah Hazelwood, her center back partner. Nice touch by Faith Needler to bring it down. Here's Shelby Shepard, the goal scorer. She has a long shot from way out, and it's a good save by Sarah Owen. Nice shot there with the left foot. And earlier, the shot with the right foot found the bottom right corner of Sarah Owen's net. But this time, she wasn't fooled. Nice move there by Mary Mooseberger to get past Cameron Pagliaro. Mooseberger, the goal scorer for one of the goal scorers for the Bearcats. Nice ball through. Here's Emma Sexton. Cuts inside. She goes down. And instead of going down and the referee calling a penalty, it was a very important intervention by Molly Platt to keep Sexton from making it 3-2. Very close to goal, and it was going through the legs there of Sarah Hazelwood. But Molly Platt was back there and in the nick of time. Shelby Shepard with the clearance. And now Abby Mayer's onto it, headed back in. Shot from way out, and it's a good save by Lizzie Luzzi. Long ball forward, only finds the feet of 
the other goal scorer for Lander, number 18, Marin White. Rumi Contreras making a run on the right side. Micah Spickerman with some work to do, and she does enough, but North Greenville keeps it in play. Needler brought it down for a second. And now here's Lander on the counterattack with Emma Sexton. Long ball forward. Mary Mooseburger making a good run. Sarah Hazelwood with great defending, though, to kick it out for the first corner of the overtime period number one. So the first corner of the overtime period is going to be taken by number 28. And that's Kelsey Fisher. In swinging corner from the far side. Headed away by Shelby Shepard brilliantly. It's out to Fisher once again. Here's Tessa Simmons. And now she'll pass it back to Spickerman, and she will keep possession for her side. Yandel with the ball in. Cleared away by Johnson. Nice tackle there by Johnson once again, but only finds the feet of Spickerman. And Spickerman was looking for her. Number seven, Gracie Beeson there, but it went out for a throw in. Right before this throw in is taken, there's gonna be some substitutions coming into the game. And it looks like the girl that is very good for throw-ins for North Greenville, and that's number two, Elaney Sprinkle, coming into the game. And there's an example of a good throw-in, but the flick on by Natalie Johnson goes out for a lander throw. Nice build up by Lander as Gracie Beeson finds Mia Piazza. Here's Micah Spickerman. Mary Mooseburger. Johnson will clear. Faith Needler's running onto it, taking on Micah Spickerman and some great defending by her. Spickerman has been very good throughout this game for this Lander side. So a throw an opportunity here for North Greenville. And it looks like it's going to be Elaney Sprinkle once again. And there you see Chris Ayer talking to one of his players about getting in the right position. Ayer in his 17th season as the head coach of the Lady Bearcats. Here's another substitution. It looks like Alexa Fight through the crowd and into the arms of Sarah Owen. A name that has been called very often tonight and rightfully so. Two minutes to go in the first period of overtime, folks, and it's still... 0-0 zero, zero between these two sides. Here's Romy Contreras. Nice move there to get past one. Here's Faith Needler. Needler looking to get across in the box, but once again, that left back, number 17, Tessa Simmons, with a great challenge to put the ball out of play for another corner for North Greenville. Let's see if the Crusaders can take advantage. Minute and a half to go in Tigerville in the first overtime period. Laney Sprinkle will step up to 
the corner to take the corner kick. It's a good ball in the box, headed away by Mackenzie Yandel. And now Mary Mooseberger will do her job to clear it away. Sprinkles there once more. Cross in. And into the arms of Sarah Owen. No foul, says the referee there, and Mary Mooseberger was close to keeping the ball in play, but not quite. 30 seconds left in the first overtime period. Sprinkle. And she'll stay down, and it looks like she's hurt. And that is not a good sign for North Greenville, as she was fighting to win the ball back there by number 28, Kelsey Fisher. But Sprinkle stays down, and it looks like she's in pain. And there you see head coach Andy Robinson and the trainer Ka Kayla Gannons going over to check on her and make sure she's okay. Well, folks, we are back in Tigerville, and fortunately for the Crusaders, Eleni Sprinkle, number two, was the injured player down there for a couple minutes. But after talking to the trainer and her head coach, Andy Robinson, she got up, and it looks like she's going to be all right. So here with 20 seconds to go in the first period of overtime, there will be a drop ball between Lander and North Greenville. And it'll be in the possession of Lander for these last 15 seconds. Spickerman plays the ball forward. Nice defending there by Sarah Adcock. And the clock will wind down. And it looks like that'll be the end of the first period of overtime, folks. So there is the end of overtime period number one. Still the same score line between these two teams. And we'll take a break for a moment, but we'll be right back here on the Conference Carolina's Digital Network. Your score from Tigerville after the first period of overtime, Lander 2, North Greenville 2.
and welcome back to the Conference Carolinas Digital Network for the second overtime period in this season opener for both of these teams, the North Greenville Crusaders and the Lander Bearcats. They are locked 2-2 after not being able to settle the difference in overtime period number one. We are underway for the second period of overtime, and Lander will have this ball first, and right away on that left side is number nine for the Lady Bearcats. And it's a good save from Lizzie Luzzi. That was Anika Seifert on that left side. And the shot came in, and it was an important save by Lizzie Luzzi. Romy Contreras will keep this ball in play, and they'll go over the head of the center back. Here's Faith Needler. She's looking for some options. Here's Shelby Shepard on that left side on the edge of the area. She has a shot deflected. Spickerman was there. Now here's Megan Beal, the captain. Natalie Johnson cleared away by Tessa Simmons, and it'll be a throw in for North Greenville. Well, you feel like every time North Greenville has the ball on the edge of the area, something very special is about to happen and it has twice tonight Tessa Simmons with the clearance once again and Sarah Adcock will take the throw in Contreras sliding challenge by Tessa Simmons missed the ball Contreras goes down periphery says no foul play on here's Faith Needler driving on that right side Another brilliant challenge by Tessa Simmons and another corner kick for the Crusaders. Tessa Simmons has been working very hard on that left side defending Faith Needler and Romy Contreras and Sarah Adcock. And so far, since she's been in the game, she's been up to the task. And speaking of Adcock, she'll be the one standing over this corner kick with 7.52 to go in the second period of overtime. Here's the delivery into the box. On the back post is Abby Mayer, and it's a good save by Sarah Owen. And it's a brilliant distribution. And now here's the Bearcats on the counterattack. And that ball is a little heavy for Seifert. And Ansley Robinson will stay with the ball, and she'll try to possess with Sarah Hazelwood. And Natalie Johnson does well to shield off number 28, Kelsey Fisher but the referee spots a foul. Here's Mary Mooseberger. Score of the second goal tonight in the first half, towards the end of the first half. Here's the ensuing shot, and it's a good save by Lizzie Luzzi to keep her team in this game with 6.43 to go in the second period of overtime. Luzzi with the long punt forward. Cypher with brilliant work to get around Cameron Pagliaro. Abby Mayer was there. And then Marion White gave the ball to Shelby Shepard. And Shepard finds Natalie Johnson. Johnson to Contreras. Adcock. Contreras again. Nice little build up play here from North Greenville. Contreras looking for Abby Mayer. And another tackle there by Tessa Simmons. On sides is Contreras. Abby Mayer. She goes down, and the referee says, play on. Neither was some work to do against Micah Spickerman, and her work was almost sufficient. And that ball for Mary Mooseberger was just a little too much for her to handle, and it'll be a throw in for the Lady Crusaders.
Natalie Johnson. Robinson. Long ball forward looking for Faith Needler. She had the flick on, and it'll roll all the way to Sarah Owen and the lander goal. Owen with the long kick forward. Looking for Seifert. And here she is. And now Mackenzie Yandel will win the ball back for the, the Bearcats. Here's Seifert again. Still Seifert. Crosses in the box. And well dealt with by North Greenville. Here's the cross in again. And it was well needed of an intervention. And to the rescue there was number two, who was injured just a few minutes ago in the first period of overtime, Eleni Sprinkle. And it's good to see she's back on the field for the Lady Crusaders. But it'll be a corner opportunity for the Lander Bearcats with about four minutes to go in the second period of overtime to see if they can settle the difference in this tie. Here's the header in, and it's wide. Lizzie Luzzi was watchful, and she had to be. Lucy will tell her team to get forward. Three and a half minutes to go in Tigerville. Nice flick on by Eleni Sprinkle. One back by Tessa Simmons, though. Here's Emma Sexton. Fisher. Nice overlapping run by Mia Piazza. And good work there on that left side. Looks like by Kayla Cruz. And now the ball will be brought down on the floor, and the Bearcats will try to keep possession. Spickerman will play the ball forward, headed away by Sprinkle. Here's Mary Mooseberger on the ball for the Bearcats, driving forward on the edge of the 18, cuts left. Here's the cross in the box, and nice defending there by the head coach's daughter, number 14, Ansley Robinson. The junior from Greenville, South Carolina, and a graduate of Eastside High School. So now with two minutes to go, now you ask the question if Lander can take advantage of this opportunity on the corner, if they very well could win the game. So here's Kelsey Fisher with the delivery in the box. It's a good delivery, and it's still not out, and now it's out by Kayla Cruz. Here's Mackenzie Yandel, driving on that right side. Looks for a cross in the box, and well defended by Kayla Cruz there. A minute and a half to go in the second period of overtime. Here's Piazza. throw in once again for Lander the clock is ticking down Seifert it's still there for Lander with Mia Piazza crossing the box on top of the 18 is Mary Mooseberger and it was a heavy first touch that went backwards and now Roman Contreras will play the ball forward but it finds Micah Spickerman, and the throw in for Lander incoming. Sprinkle needs to shield this out, and she'll kick it out for a throw in. 40 seconds to go. Ainsley Robinson with the def good defending, but it leads to a corner. Very important here, and this could be the last play of the, o of the overtime period. This corner is going to be taken by Kelsey Fisher. Everybody's going to be in the box for Lander on this corner. Here's the delivery into the box. 
Still not out of the box quite yet. Marin White's going on to it, and Kayla Cruz clears. Five seconds, four, three, two, one. And there it is, folks. Well, we are through two periods of overtime. And folks, I just got confirmation that that is the final whistle. There will not be a penalty shootout. So thank you for joining us tonight on the Conference Carolina Digital Network after that confusion. We will see you again for the next game for the Lady Crusaders. Next up on their schedule is this coming Sunday as they take on the Furman Paladins at Furman University. And that game will be featured on ESPN+. Plus. But until then, once again, thank you for joining us tonight for this season opener. And the next time you can view this channel on the Conference Carolina Digital Network will be on September 15th when the Lady Crusaders take on the University of North Georgia right here in Pepsi Stadium in Tigerville, South Carolina. Your final score from Tigerville, Lander 2, North Greenville 2. This has been Graham Lee, the voice of NGU Soccer.